Yeah, we got uh, something a little different today. Um, I got my new headlights installed, so we're out here at night testing them out, seeing what we got. Uh, on the right side, I got a Baja LP6, and on the left side, I got a knockoff Amazon light, which is basically real, real similar to LP6. At least uh, that's what it was supposed to be. Um, you can see there's like some slight differences in the light on the low beam. Um, as far as the quantity, it's about the same. Um, left, right, it's very similar. Um, the Baja's got a little bit more rugged build. And then, um, yeah, I'm about to flip on the high beam here in a second and you'll really see the difference. Um, you can see like there's that little square. That's from the Jeep light. And this uh, round part, uh, it's a little bit forward would be the Baja which is uh, somewhat intentional like I've been uh, fiddling with the adjustment because I want the Baja to aim more of a forward more long distance throw and uh, I wanted the cheap light just to be more of a general fog light or area light so it was so it's kind of an intentional uh, putting two different lights up there they do the same thing but uh, the, the design's a little different like if you look to the right versus the left um, the knockoff light well it's not really a knockoff it's uh, it's just a cheaper light and uh, like I said you can see it's got a little more area light out to the left side whereas the Baja kind of uh, doesn't throw quite as much area light like you see it kind of fades out whereas the uh, the knockoff one tends to be uh, more consistent with the area lighting. Um, like I said, if I stand up, you can see the left and then the right. You can really see the differences. I think I may need to angle them up just a little bit more to get uh, a little bit farther projection. Like it seems like they're aimed a little bit low. But uh, definitely a lot more light output than the stock headlight. Not that uh, the double day maker that the Rogue Lights come stock with is, is not bad at all. Like I said, it's a pretty good headlight. And uh, I was always happy with it. I just upgraded just because. Not because I really needed to. I just felt like I wanted to. And uh, I already had an LP6 sitting around. And uh, I just decided I'll throw a cheap light, wire it up, uh, fit into the LP6 harness that I bought. And uh, that was pretty easy. You just get a Deutsch connector or a DT connector, a little four pin connector. Uh, look at the wiring diagram for the cheap light and just pin it out correctly. You know, you got your high beam pin, your low beam pin, um, your like backlight pin, and. Uh, uh, of course your ground wire. So you just wire it the same as the Baja. And for whatever reason I had to switch the, uh, the high beam and the low beam I guess. Whoever uh, wired this one didn't have the diagram quite right. But you run into that on the cheap lights. Um, some of the information is either vague or uh, non-existent or just flat out backwards. I've seen that a lot. So. Before you put it all back together, turn it on and see what, what uh, see if it works. Because uh, I put it all together, turn it on, and I had to take it back apart and, uh, and uh, obviously repin the connector, which is not bad, just a little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Big upgrade. Um, something I've always wanted to do just to see if I could do it was putting uh, the Baja up there and then the uh, knockoff right, so there's a regular light and then back to the high beam so I've been pretty happy with it it's uh, definitely a lot more total light than what I had a lot more area light that's the main thing like I said I live out in the country and uh, the area light helps you spot the deer before uh, they run out in front of you in the road. So uh, that's always something good to have. As, uh, I think I need to angle it up just a smidge more maybe. 
So there's a low beam. I'd like to have like just a smidge more uh, low beam throw. At least with the Baja, and that'll put my high beam on the Baja a little bit farther. So I have like the high beam on the uh, cheap light. It'll be kind of up close, and since that's on the left side going into traffic, it won't blind people as much. And then I can have the right side one have to catch a little bit farther. Um, I think that's kind of my ideal setup. That way I'll have complete coverage while I'm still getting the side light. So, that, that's kind of my whole idea, thought process. Work fairly well. At least uh, I'm a lot more uh, comfortable riding out here at night, being able to see. As I usually ride with the stereo on, so the deer will hear that. You know, but generally, uh, pay attention where you're at, and not run out if you have your stereo on. But uh, every once in a while, especially like during the fall, it just lose their mind and you really need to be able to see it. But, uh, hit a deer on a mini bike and then I've hit a deer on this bike to just kiss the front fender and I mean that one wasn't bad but it was annoying because you know, you had to take the fender off and check the front end for damage. And it was just annoying, you know, and annoying is uh, one of the worst things for bikes. Get something annoyed, and it's just like you're just done with it for the moment, and then you come back to it. You're like, God dang it, uh, I gotta deal with this crap now. And it's just you know, one of the things that just happens. Like I said, I was already going like really slow because it was night, and I was back behind the airport. I know there were deer back there, and I don't normally ride back there, but I just happened to do it. And, uh, yeah, I kissed him. I was only going like 20, so I mean, he just tinted the front fender, bounced off. I didn't go down or anything, you know. He bent the crash bar, but it is what it is. You know, you can't really uh, predict all this stuff, so. You know, the best you can do is just take preventive measures, ride smart. Whatever happens is gonna happen. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show y'all guys what it looked like, what to expect, light patterns, all that stuff. Definitely a big upgrade. Um, you know, it's, it definitely has a cool look. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a modification I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Glad I finally did it. I mean, it made it a little bit trickier with, uh, took up a lot of room, like, I gotta redo, like, my amp placement and stuff, and I gotta figure out a few kinks, uh, on how to route stuff underneath the bear, like, the way I got it now is just kinda shoved everything in there, crammed it in, and it, it barely fit, which is not what you want to do. I'd rather much have all the fitment be right and sealed up well, but, uh, that was not the case, and, uh, I still got to do some fabrication and some uh, cleaning up to do more if uh, I think that's what I would call it. And uh, once I do that, then uh, I'll be in business. But um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see y'all later. Peace.